What is up, guys? It is AJ from MMA Experts, and we are talking about the fight between Marlon Vera and Sean O'Malley. A bit disappointing for me. I'm a, I'm a Sean O'Malley fan. I'm not going to go out there and lie to you guys and say that I don't like Sean O'Malley, that I don't find him to be a very cool guy beyond just his fist fighting. I, I like his personality, and unfortunately, he loses here. Marlon Vera is a game fighter, very high level, beautiful leg kicks. You saw that kind of mess up Sean O'Malley a bit. Yes, he did hurt his leg on his own, but there was some kicks by Cheeto Vera in there that we can't dis credit gotta give credit where it's due Vera gets the TKO in the first round sad loss for Sean O'Malley big win for Cheeto Vera though he was really robbed in his last fight and I think Cheeto Vera is a top guy in this bantamweight division I don't know who's exactly next just yet we'll look at the rankings and talk about it but I think he's legit I think he's somebody to watch out for and that brutal ground and pound with that elbow was very intense yes O'Malley was hurt yes he was pretty much done already but that elbow was intense and that elbow hurt him big time that was a big elbow now, let's get to these rankings. So, you see that he was ranked 20 here by Ranking MMA. Obviously, not official, but still a, a good place to look for rankings. He beat Sean O'Malley. What's the next fight now for Marlon Vera? This is a bit tricky for me, right? He got robbed against Song Yedong. So, realistically, he's on a massive win streak. I don't think you can discredit him and give him somebody farther back. I think you got to move him up. I, I like somebody in the top. I, I do. I, I like somebody in the top. Maybe a, you're a, you know what we're gonna look at his record. I want to I don't want to give you a guy that he's recently fought if you look Losses were way back in the day. He's on a big streak here I'm thinking maybe you do Uriah favor. I mean give him a big ass fight Uriah favor if he still wants to fight that's a fun matchup I think he does well and I think Uriah would want a bit of a step back in terms of ranking that is um, and I think we could do Uriah favor versus Cheeto Vera give Cheeto that that reward for winning such a big fight against a hype prospect but if not Rob Font is somebody I like too Rob Font's a very serious contender he's a guy to watch out for he's he's a beast he's beaten Sergio Pettis Ricky Simon those those are my two picks I'm going Uriah Faber or Rob Font for Cheeto Vera excuse me even though you know he lost to Song Yudong I, I don't count that to me that's a victory he's won his past straight fights and his six fight win streak in the bantamweight division. So he's legit as they come. Now, for Sean O'Malley, tough loss. Where do you go from here if you're Sean O'Malley? Well, obviously, you're going to need some time off. So he's going to be away for a little while and we'll probably see where the division is at at that point. I, I don't know a name. I'm looking through these rankings. I mean, maybe at that moment when he comes back Brian Kelleher would be the guy that's available because you don't want to give him too far of a step back I still think he deserves a guy in the top 30 top 25 we'll see who's around at that point because it's going to be a bit uh, but big win for Marlon Vera here I think he proved that he is very legit um, yes the win was a little bit unfortunate circumstance but he looked good and he made Sean O'Malley work it wasn't an easy fight Sean O'Malley Four minutes, 40 seconds. It's not like he starts them in a minute. So he was going some time. I, I think O'Malley definitely had a hard fight on his hands. We were just getting heated up, and then the injury happens. That's life. Shit happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Also, guys, follow my social media, Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you all in the next video.